Real quick, as I'm editing the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I started a new channel. Um, it's called Walking the Plank. It's my gaming channel. Uh, I did video games on here for most of the time, but I'm moving it over to the new channel. So I want you guys to go ahead, check it out. I got a video coming out uh, Thursday the 24th at noon. I'm going to be uploading more consistently over there. Video games like the Finals, Balloons Tower Defense, uh, Smite, and whatever other games you guys want me to play. So head on over there and let's just hop right into the video. Good morning, everybody. Pro Woods, Santiago, Trill, call me what you want to call me. But don't call me obnoxious because today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, swap the pipes on your Royal Star Venture. This is uh, Kali. It's my Royal Star Venture 1300. And I have currently a pair of Shark Road slip-ons on there. Um, they're very loud. They sound great. V4 engine. It's a beautiful note. And it's a little too loud for... What I'm going to be doing today, which is recording a separate video going on a bit of a road trip. And the mic just can't pick up anything but the exhaust note, which is cool, but I need it to change. So first, I want to do a cold start with this just to kind of show you guys what it sounds like first with the shark roads. If it turns on the first time. There you go. Third time is always a charm, right? She's really cold. It's like 50 degrees out today, so I have the uh... So that's what it sounds like with the shark roads on. We're gonna be putting the stockies back on. I got the stock pipes right here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys all the steps, how to take it off, put the new pipes on, etc., etc. So without further ado, we're gonna start with this bag here. Now I really recommend having like some sort of ratchet uh, screwdriver of some sort. I unfortunately do not have one with me. I also recommend uh, emptying your bags before you record a YouTube video. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, I unfortunately do not have a ratchet screwdriver with me. So I can't do it the easy way. But I do have a set here. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the... I believe it's five and a half, or it's the five and a half, or it's the, oh, it's the five. We're taking the five millimeter, uh, if that's the unit of measurement here. And the first thing you're gonna be doing is taking your bag off so you can get to the pipe. So they're all right here. Five is way too big. Let me get better at, uh, let me get better at judging my sizes, eh? Uh, four? There you are. Okay, so you're gonna be grabbing the four, I'm assuming millimeter. Um, and all you're going to be doing is taking these bags off. Uh, there's one bolt here, one bolt here, one bolt here, and one bolt here. And so once you take those four off, the bag will come off. I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. All right. As you can see, I have all four screws out. I usually do the top two and then the bottom two. They all have a washer attributed with them. I just throw all the screws in here for safekeeping. Um, I lost one of the washers, so that's what it looks like right there. Uh, other thing to note, all three of these screw high, uh, sizes are the same except for this one on the back left. It comes with this little rubber or uh, this little chrome piece here that will keep it in place. It's a bit of a further location. So I'm going to close this and then hopefully take the bag off and just place some. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to place the bag right there. Safer place to do it. But now, see, we have the exhaust here. Um, now, because the Shark Roads have their own bracket that allow them to connect to the Royal Star Venture, you do need one extra tool for this. However, if you're using the stock exhaust, you just need one tool. Let's get our 17 millimeter thing there. And then it's a 14 for the bolt itself. So let's grab that. Now, uh, when you're taking off the shark roads or putting them on if you just follow this video in reverse what you're going to be doing is um, trying to get this bolt loose here it's a 14 millimeter bolt that's what the stock exhaust has but i have a 17 millimeter nut uh, underneath right here uh, so that i can hold the new exhaust to the bolt so i'm just going to grab my 14 right there lefty loosey and then i'm going to have my 17 millimeter tool here on the strap that should hold it in place ah, there you go break it here um these don't need to be ridiculously tight although they should be 
tighter than most. Um, I don't have any exhaust clamps on the slip-ons. Uh, most everybody would recommend putting an exhaust clamp right where the pipe meets the actual exhaust. Uh, I don't carry them on there. Uh, I've had this these pipes on for, I don't know, 8,000 miles, 9,000 miles or so, and I've never even had to worry about it slipping or dropping at all. So Now that that's dropped, I have my 17 millimeter there. We're going to pull out the factory 14 bolt and just wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Pipe is off. Look at that. Beautiful. So now that the pipe's off and reasonably dirty, holy cow, this bike unfortunately has not been cleaned in quite a long time. I cleaned it, I detailed it for like three hours, and then it rained <laughs> the next day. And there was no chance of rain at all. So I've just been a little petty to my bike lately. But we have the stock pipes here. As you can see with the stock pipes, we have uh, our connection point right there at the bottom of the pipe. The stock pipes are pretty nice because they slip on super nice and easy right over the calf. You can see here. All I'm going to do is put them on, slot them in place, and now they're back. And because it's the stock pipe, you actually don't need this washer. I had to buy this washer specifically for the Shark Road slip-on. So all I have to do is grab this, find the hole, put it in there, and then tighten it up. And that's literally it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a super easy job. Uh, anybody can do it. Even somebody like me who has trouble doing his own oil change sometimes. Uh, got no problem doing it there. Gave it two tights. It is a little loose. It's okay. Uh, it's going to stay on. I pinky promise. So now let's get the bag on um, and then go do it on the other side. I'll see you guys in the other second. I'm putting the bag back in. I got the bag back in place here. I'm just going to grab one of them as long as it's not the long one. And I'm going to start with the bottom holes here. Uh, reason being is they're just a little easier to mount and balance. You're not putting as much uh, pressure on the bolts themselves if you're going uh, down vertically here. So grab one, screw it in place here. Grab the other one. Let's see, find our hole. Once we find that, we'll put that in place there. Perfect. And then for this one, it's going to be fun to do with one hand, but you'll grab this long bolt, you'll slide it in about halfway, and then you're going to use this on the other side to bridge that gap, as you guys can see. And then that one's just going to screw in place there. And last but not least, I somehow have an extra washer. Again, I thought I was missing a washer. Turns out I'm not, so that's kind of sweet. We'll throw this extra washer right here because we already have one on the on the bike itself, but you're just gonna look for that hole back there and screw them in. And then we're gonna put them all down. Uh, I tighten them, not too much. Uh, I really don't. Just because they're fragile bolts and I don't want them to break too much. And there's a pretty small chance. As soon as you feel uh, any sort of resistance on the bolt, you can pretty much call it there. Uh, it will stay in place. And if not, you have an entire crash guard system. So I'm going to pull, pull, pull. I'm just finger, finger pressure, finger pressure, finger pressure. And that's it. And call it there. And it will stay in place. And so you just go ahead, throw them all in. Let's get the other bag out and then uh, I'll show you the other side as well. Although obviously it's not too much different. All right. We are on the other side here. Uh, I'm actually really grateful for this DJI Action 4 for having the magnetic mount because I'm literally just mounting it to my saddle pad or my, uh, my crash bars and it's working uh, okay other side should be pretty easy lefty loosey just like that but I need to hold the other side here so I'm gonna grab this right here throw it under the bolt somewhere there you go. Breaks super quick, super easy. Again, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't break my arm trying to tighten this thing up because, you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> I really, I really don't. I've never had a problem with it. And as you guys can tell, I've changed these pipes back and forth. I don't know, maybe four times now, three or four times uh, in the last few months or in the last five, six months, because you know. The thing about having two bikes is the the um, the 1300 the 
Ah, let me get the pipe real quick. The um, the VTX, it's not loud, uh, but it's not quiet either. This bike is very loud and it is very not quiet. So, you know, there, there are times I'm out at night with the boys, you know, I want to have fun, I want to be loud. And then there's days, like, I feel like as soon as the weather gets cold, tell me if you guys agree with me or not. Um, as soon as the weather gets cold, I tend to just want to relax, you know? I, I don't, I'm not in that high energy, high octane, you know, cruise around the downtown strip, revving your bike out, having a great night. You know, I'm not like, I tend to like to relax more and enjoy the scenery and, you know, I'm not super hot. I'm not freezing my butt off yet. Like, I feel like that's, I feel like that's a good place to be. Um, uh, give it one more there. But yeah, the pipes are on. I just, yeah, I think I just wanted to cool down, quiet down. You know, it's fall time. I don't need to be obnoxious or loud anymore. I'm just, just time to enjoy, just time to enjoy. You guys will see that in the other video I'm making today. Oh. Where I'm probably gonna end up doing close to 300 miles, uh, just in Illinois and Wisconsin. Just getting out, just getting out and enjoying the, enjoying the, enjoying the sights, so. See if I could mount you right here somewhere. Could I? Maybe. Oh my goodness, I can kind of. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna line up the bag with the hole. Grab one of my minis. Throw them down here with the washer. The washer fell. Some of my washers are stuck in place. Some of them aren't. Um, this bike's older than I am. This bike's uh, 2000. So two years older than me. It uh, It's definitely got some quirks, that's for sure. Uh, the front right turn signal just went out. And I was like, man, that stinks. So I went to the store to buy new turn signals and or buy uh, new bulbs for the turn signals. Bought them in, put them in. Light still doesn't work. I was like, oh, weird. So I'm looking into it. I'm looking around. I'm seeing what's going on. And uh, when I turn the bike all the way to the right, the turn signal turns back on. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well now I have a, a silly little wire I gotta figure out. There's always, if you guys know anything about anything in life, wiring is always the most fun part of uh, owning a vehicle. An older, an older vehicle, per se, obviously. Uh, let me get that back. I feel like I can get a better way in there. There you go. Let's pull this thing in. Get it. See, this is why I recommend to get. I don't know where mine is. <laughs> I have a, I have a screwdriver with these bit ends on it, so I can just really fast. No idea where it is. Uh, I don't. I don't really want to go buy a new one right now. If I'll be a hundred percent honest with you guys. Not in the mood to go shopping. So that just leaves me with the uh, fact that I have to <laughs> do this the uh, do this the hard way. So tighten here. So you guys can see I got deodorant, cologne. Now it's getting colder out. I don't have to worry about it like, you know, exploding in here. Um, and then I have a pair of goggles for summer or for daytime and nighttime in case my helmet is no longer with me for some reason. Uh, I've actually seen helmets get stolen off of bikes. Uh, it's pretty common. Even when you have the helmet locker in, uh, it's still it can still happen to you. You never know. So let me uh, let me get this last bolt on, put it back on, and actually I guess I could start it for you now. Oh, and the video is vertical. Gosh darn it. Okay, I can start it for you now, so you can hear the difference. Listen to that. She's gonna die. There you go. Yeah, she's a lot more quiet now that she has the pipes on. Pretty sweet, huh? So that's, I always recommend. Oh, this thing is going in sideways. Look at that. All right, let me get this figured out. Let me put this on. I'll be with you guys in a second. Look at that. Look how easy that was. We just changed our pipes from our shark roads here. Beautiful shark roads. Uh, we changed them back to their stockies. So I got the stockies back on. Don't lose those nuts. I probably shouldn't either. Um, you can see he's got the little 
Necklace on, he's looking good today. And this is what uh, the stock pipes sound like on a Royal Star Venture. Way quieter, right? So much quieter. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed me just uh, showing you guys how to do that real quick. Um, if you did, leave a like down below. I'll see you guys very soon. Very, very soon. As in, this is probably going to go up. Uh, this is probably going to go up next week, week after. You'll see the other videos. So, see you guys then.